one of my main interests over right. the many years, uh, con uh, considering that to be much more important than anybody in Washington realizes. Right. And those who realize it don't want you to talk about right. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whether it had been on the University of Southern California or the University of Michigan, when I talk about, you know, well, you get a pretty good cheer when you say, let's get rid of the IRS. Yeah. 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 We get one of the loudest applause. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was rather, rather remarkable the other night. Uh, it was uh, at the uh, University of Michigan. The lights were on the stage, and I couldn't see the people real well. But when I started talking about the Federal Reserve, there were several lighting up Federal Reserve notes and burning. <laughs> <laughs> Rallies, a lot of people come up and they'll they'll hand me a single Federal Reserve note and they they want me to sign it. What do I want to sign this for? So I make I ask him. I said, now if I sign this, is it going to go up in value or not in value? And they assure me it will go up in value. So I go ahead and I sign it. Yeah. But it, it is uh, it is rather interesting and amazing, and the response by the young people is just overwhelming, because the philosophy of freedom means that we offer freedom, but no stuff. You know, you got to earn your own stuff. Right. <laughs> but you know, you have your right to your life. You have your right to your liberty. You have your right to pursue your happiness. But the next step is you ought to have the right to keep all of the fruits of your life. Yeah! People that they sit in front of videos and uh, TVs and uh, videos and they play these games and uh, they're just wasting away their lives. Well, it's not true. Right? <laughs> right? It's not true. They're very well informed. You can't believe how many people now are coming to see me and they say, I'm coming to see you today because my kids made me look at your video. <laughs> <laughs> just yesterday, I had two significant interviews from major media outlets yeah. and both of them told me the same story. One was a man, one was a woman. Both had kids in college, and they themselves did not confess to be supporters. But boy, were they enthusiastic about their kids supporting me and made sure I signed stuff for them. And the kids were both college kids. Yes. So nice. there's something going on. time uh, at a, a club called the uh, Robert Taft Club. And of course, uh, I, I've always admired Robert Taft for the many of things that he did and tried to do. And uh, I asked the group how long they had been in existence. They had been in about a year and a half, and they had about, uh, about 30 members. But I, I told them a story about about four years ago, I ran into uh, uh, Robert Novak, uh, the political reporter, and he was meeting with a group of uh, Republican House members. And I said, I said to him, I said, I said, do you think there's any chance that the Robert Taft wing of the Republican Party will ever be revived? And he said, no way. It just wouldn't happen. But I told him last night that, you know, they organized their club a year and a half ago before this campaign was going on. And I just wonder whether there's something significant that young people, these were all college kids that came together and wanted to talk about the old rights, civil liberties, non-interventionist right. foreign policy, sound money. And, and all of a sudden, you know, this club has been organized. And, of course, I, I, I challenged them a little bit because they told me they had a club of 35 members, but when I got over there, I think we had a few more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, like it was a huge turnout. Like and so there is a there's a, uh, a, a very interesting thing going on. It's a real phenomenon. And um, I, I get a lot of credit for it. I, I don't believe I deserve the credit as much as the message. The message is so powerful. Yeah. And it's just to always bewilder me. And over the many years I've been involved, I, I always would say, I don't know how we can lose this. The message is so powerful. 
how can we offer freedom and prosperity, a humanitarian system, and uh, peace, and all these wonderful things that come from freedom, and just following our Constitution? And how do we lose what? this fight? How do, we, how, do, how do we lose these arguments uh, at the same time? And it's basically, I think, we've lost our lost the arguments because freedom creates so much prosperity. People concentrate on prosperity, then they go to the government to get more than their share of the prosperity, and they forget all about the freedom that created the prosperity. Right. But today, in spite of the fact we don't have a huge depression going on. For some people there's a depression going on. No huge depression, no huge war like World War uh, One or Two. But at the same time, people must realize that there's something wrong uh, with the system of government that we have today. Maybe it's when they look at the federal government taking $50 billion and saying, well, there's been a hurricane down there in New Orleans. We're going to go down there and we're going to solve that problem. And they go down there and they just pass out checks. They passed out checks to anybody that got in line, even if they didn't live there. Oh. And when it was discovered that they passed out hundreds of millions of dollars to people who weren't even in New Orleans, they said, oh, we'll get the money back. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're going to call them up and ask them to return. Right. Yeah. I mean, people see this. And uh, how about the trailers that they bought and sat there and found the way? Right. Just totally wasted. And, and we're supposed to depend on them. Then I talk to young people and I say, no, no young person say, oh, you know, I'm really glad this country takes care of the elderly, and I'm glad to pay into Social Security, but they'll take care of me when I retire. <laughs> no one right. believes that, you know? So I said, would you like to get out of the Social Security? That's my program. Let the young yeah. people just right. flat out. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, the message has has resonated. I, I find it so exciting that yesterday uh, there was uh, a, a over 1,000 meetup groups organized, and they kid me a lot, and, and they actually misrepresent my views or or my relationship mm -hmm. with the internet. And they say, "Oh, he never knew anything about it, never used it." Quite frankly, I love the internet and use it for getting information, but I do have to admit, I never heard of a meetup group before. <laughs> but there's a thousand of them, and I don't know what they're doing out there. But, uh, but other campaigns are drinking for you. Yeah. Other campaigns, other campaigns come you know, nosing around our place, and they say, who did you hire? How do you do it? How did you get those or uh, get them organized? Right. And well, it didn't work that way. No. <laughs> it's the message, folks. It's the message, and it's you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, cool. yeah. Woo. But, uh, you know, it's also very interesting. We know that there's some some rumblings here in this country and some great needs, especially because of the mess we've gotten into with our foreign policy. Yeah. But why would there be rumblings around the world? I mean, I mean, it, it can't possibly be me. <laughs> but, but there's, there's, a, there's these meetup groups relating to this yeah. campaign and this message. It's like 22 different countries. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is this is pretty yeah. great. Yeah. And, uh, the, the message of liberty is alive and well. And yeah. It's great. Yeah. squelch, you cannot destroy the, the love for liberty and the desire for liberty in spite of the fact that most of history has been dominated by the tyrants. And I always resent it when they say you want to go back to the old ages and of course if you believe in liberty this is the most advanced idea ever known to man and the greatest experiment was in this country and, and, and we've been uh, about to throw it away if, if we're not careful. And, and so it, it to me it indicates that you really can't 